So the night of the murder, you met with Robert in the surgical suite. Why there? Why not your office? Just preparing for next day's surgeries. Don't you have an assistant who does that? I'm a meticulous person. I'm careful how I do things. So careful that you? I'm sorry. I forgot what I was going to ask. Come back to me. Anyways, we did a sweep of the room where you and Robert fought. Talked? Talked. The entire room had been scrubbed. It had been cleaned? It had undergone industrial sterilization to remove any trace of blood and DNA. It's a surgical suite. People bleed there all the time. You gotta sanitize it by law. Oh, I remember what I was gonna ask. Did you kill him? No. If you would've said yes, I would've had you. So, after you and Robert fought... Talked. You left the office. But you didn't take your car. I went to a bar. A Scotchman. I didn't want to drink and drive, so I took a cab. Okay. And you didn't have your phone? It was plugged in my office. Didn't realize it until I was gone. Oh man, if I go 10 minutes without my phone, my pumpkin crop dies on my little farm. This is not the time for stories about your digital squash, Peralta. All right, fine, jeez. Talking about your phone. Why does it matter if I even forgot it? Oh, if I had it on me, you'd be able to see it pinging off the cell tower. Doesn't matter, didn't have it on me. So you took a cab to this bar. Well, we talked to all the employees of the Scotchman that night. Nobody saw you there. No one remembers seeing me. Let me ask you this. Did you kill him? Nah. You know, it's not surprising nobody remembers seeing me there. The bar was extremely crowded that night, and I was in the corner the whole time, talking to this woman, uh, Dana. Oh, so you said. Well, we ran all the receipts that night. Nobody named Dana bought any drinks. Trust me, Dana wasn't buying her own drinks. You know what I mean? No? No. Okay. Hold on. I need to take this. Let's take a five. Or, I can keep this interview going solo. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that'll be pretty helpful. All right. Where should we start a ruski? Don't you think we should wait until your boss gets back? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Because you're scared. I'm scared that I'm playing hardball. Except the balls are questions, and here they come. What kind of car did Robert drive? Also, Dana from the bar, what color was her hair? And which nights did the cleaning crew sterilize your office? When was the last time you were up to where the body was found? And when you left your phone in the office, did you plug it into a wall or your computer? And did you kill him? And where did your cab driver look like? All right, this seems like a huge waste of time, but here we go. Robert drove a Saab. Dana's hair was blonde. They sterilized the office on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I haven't been to Vernon in 20 years. Phone was plugged into the wall. No, I didn't kill him. And cab driver had a beard and earring. Sorry, didn't get the license plate number. Wow, very impressive. Yeah. Didn't fall for my did you kill him gambit. Nope. Although it is interesting you knew the body was found in Vernon, New York, when that information hasn't been revealed to the public. Well, hello, Dolly.